The internet is obsessed with animals, including us. We all love dolphins, silly little chimps, and other animals like slow loris with really beady eyes. Now, these menacing creatures might look cute, but they keep a whole species under their paws with ease. Of course, we're talking about evil little yellow-throated martins that fight monkeys because of their instincts to hunt. And remember how we said dolphins are cute? Well, get ready to get your mind blown. There are many cases these guys will shock you with their intelligence. But before we dive in, make sure to like and subscribe. All done? Let's go! Millipedes are afraid of lemurs Have you ever wondered why King Julian from the film Madagascar was always sort of cuckoo crazy? Well, they could have been a little intoxicated. Millipedes are super venomous creatures, and no one normally messes with them, unless you're a lemur. They have a very particular diet of fruit and one large millipede. Sometimes they grab one, but do not eat them. Instead, they bite them gently and throw them back. Imagine how much millipedes hate lemurs. Why would you just bite them and then throw them back into the wilderness? When millipedes are picked up, their defense strategy is so curled up. Moreover, they have paired glands in their legs that secrete a toxic combination of chemicals that include cyanide. First of all, scientists think that this works as a natural pesticide for the lemurs and helps them get rid of malaria-carrying mosquitoes. However, the secretion also acts as a narcotic and helps them enter a state of intoxication. Who knew even lemurs needed to get away from reality once in a while? And on top of that, how annoying would that be for the millipedes? Getting chewed on is not fun. You would know if you have a cat. Kasawari Perfect. The dinosaurs might have left us, but a deadly relative of their species still roams the earth. The cassowary is a weird-looking creature that's dubbed as the most dangerous bird in the whole world by the Guinness World Record. It's not just animals that are scared of them. They even have the ability to kill humans. First of all, they're built like a professional killing machine. They're up to 6 feet tall and weigh up to 200 pounds. But let's talk about their legs, which are their main weapon. Their extremely muscular legs can help them run up to 30 miles per hour and jump up to 5 feet. They're enough to slash down any serpent that they like. Their powerful kicks graze claws on the edge that they can use to slash others with ease. In fact, there was a case in 2019 where this bird managed to kill a Floridian man by slashing and punching the poor guy. The autopsy revealed that it had severely damaged a major artery in the man's arm. Who would have thought an animal could kill a man so ruthlessly? Giant Anteater How can something with bad vision, bad hearing, and no teeth be of any danger? Well, let us tell you about the giant anteater. Scientists found a hunter dead in Brazil, and just two years later, another man was killed in the same way. And even though these occurrences are rare, they still happen without us knowing. Both the cases had one thing in common. That was evidence that these long-nosed monsters had a part in it. As soon as an anteater looks like it's about to hug you, just know that there's going to be a huge fight. Their hug isn't really a hug, but instead a huge red flag. In one of the accidents, the anteater grabbed the man by its forelimbs, which both have claws at the end. Even though the anteater freed him, the man was covered with severe wounds, which were about one and a half inches deep in his arms. There were also right puncture wounds in his left thigh. Lastly, the autopsy revealed that there was really bad damage to the large artery in his thigh. The weird part is that, how did this animal learn how to fight so well and attack in such an accurate place that it almost led to people's deaths? Honey Badger Once you maintain your reputation in the animal world, no one dares to mess with you. This is exactly how the honey badger has managed to become known as the most fearless animal there is. Size really doesn't matter when it comes to these tiny little carnivores. First of all, the tiny badger is a loner. Even then, they're strong enough to fight off huge predators like lions and hyenas. In many instances, they are outnumbered by animals much bigger and stronger. Still, the honey badgers are such stubborn animals that they will not stop fighting or back away. Thanks to their thick, rubbery skin, they're immune to spikes and sometimes even teeth. In fact, their skin can take a full-on blow from a sharp machete without getting cut. Other than that, their skin is quite loose, which makes it possible to squirm away from a predator's bite. This just gives them all the more reason to be a stubborn winner. If you thought that was hardcore, wait till you find out how they're practically immune to several types of stings and venoms. They can get bitten by king cobras and puff adder and almost feel no effects. Dolphins playing with fish 
As much as humans love dolphins and love playing with them, they have an even darker side to them. These creatures use force in the worst possible way. There have been many incidents where male dolphins would isolate a female and slap her around with their tails. And for what? Just for her to forcibly copulate with them for weeks? These horrible incidents of sexual coercion aren't the only type of crime they indulge in. In fact, many kill the female slaves so that they will be more receptive to them. Can you imagine that the same smiley faces that jump through hoops and do tricks can be so dark in the wild? The worst part about dolphins is that they're very smart, and sometimes they do things just for fun. Since dolphins don't have phones or televisions, they resort to killing as a way of recreational fun. Gross and creepy. They've been known to brutalize baby porpoises. Yep, they won't even leave these babies alone. They don't even eat them since they're not the best source of nutrients. Instead, they just like to mess around with them. A clip of them was found where the dolphins were spinning around the porpoise's body so hard that its soft tissues were completely obliterated. Um, looks like we won't be able to see dolphins in the same way again. Slow Loris There's scientific proof that large eyes can melt our hearts. That's why we love babies so much. Unfortunately, the slow loris uses our weakness to hide its dirty crimes. However, we see through the whole game. As soon as the slow loris raises its tiny arms, run. When they raise their arms, they're taking a defensive position. Soon they'll start licking their oil glands, which are conveniently located near their armpits. When these fluids mix, a potent cocktail of venom is produced that they use against each other and also against humans. The type of venom they use is so specific that only five other species use it. Lois's teeth can bite through bone, and the venom can decay their flesh. Another word factor is that both males and females can use the venom as a weapon. One study showed that about 20% of lorries had fresh wounds specifically caused by their own species. These nasty animals are so competitive with each other that they're willing to bite each other so hard that their engraved venomous bites can cause neurosis. The question now stands is, why in the world can they bite so hard? The reason is gum, especially tree gum. They like to tap into trees to eat their sappy resin, which is jam-packed full of nutrients. That's why they're territorial enough of their trees to basically kill each other. Lastly, they also have specialized gum-digesting saliva that helps them produce oh-so-famous venom. Komodo Dragon As the world evolves and animals find more ways to stay safe, predators are finding scarier ways to hunt. Take the Komodo Dragon, for instance. It has a deadly combination of serrated teeth and venom that can kill its prey in a few hours. A study found out that they have the most complex venom glands for any reptile. They're known to simply bite their prey and let them go. This leaves them to bleed to death, caused by their awful wounds. They have around 60 serrated teeth that go so deep into the prey's body, it weakens and almost immobilizes them. The venom quickly decreases blood pressure, increases blood loss, and basically makes the competitor too ill to fight. Snakes, the master of venom, have a single duck that leads to their super cool fangs. However, Komodo has multiple ducks located between their teeth. When they take a bite out of the prey, they sort of pull a little so that the toxin enters the wound properly. At first, many scientists thought that they had deadly bacteria in their mouths that led to deadly infection, but all of this is the doing of their venom. Stoat Stoat with their small round ears and beaded eyes can melt our hearts, but looks don't tell you everything. These animals have the ability to kill prey much larger than them, and it's not always to satiate their hunger. Sometimes it's just for fun or to quench their thirst for blood. They engage in something called surplus killing. This behavior includes killing more stuff than they need, or sometimes it's done to gain valuable hunting experience. Other times it's done when there are too many prey individuals present. Stoats are really dark, and by that we mean if they enter a hen house, they simply bite their neck one by one and move on to the next one. They won't even eat the meat, but they'll just do it for the sake of it. How sick is that? Sure, you can have some food for later, but animals don't have fridges, and meat starts to go bad after only a few hours. On top of that, they're not picky about their food, so they'll bite up anything that, which includes rabbits, voles, birds, mice, rats, possums, insects, lizards, fish, and so, so much more. They're not so cute and lovable anymore, huh? Kandaroo 
When you're dubbed as the penis fish or the scariest fish sane 19th century, then it means there's probably a feature that's worth being scared of. We're talking about the kandaroo, a type of catfish that's only an inch long and looks like an eel. This fish is actually a parasite and uses its spines to attach itself to the gills of another fish that's much larger. And when it's all set, it starts to feed on the host's blood until it sucks it dry. And the fish is way too weak to recover and consequently dies. Can you imagine? This isn't even the creepiest part about the fish. There have been many anecdotes where people would urinate on the water, which is gross enough. Then the fish would have lodged its leads into the urethra of the unsuspecting individual. Even though this is just an antidote, there was a report done in 1997 where a Brazilian urologist removed a kandaroo from a person's urethra. It's true that we don't have much scientific proof of these horrific instances, but it doesn't help the paranoia. There's a reason why the fish is also called the vampire fish. Chimps killing other chimps. Chimps are incredibly intelligent species with an even more so-called social structure, which leads to more problems as compared to other species. The horrifying fact about them is that they're also carnivores. In fact, they even participate in war. It's not always about food or territory. They'll fight each other out of aggression. Did you know that they even eat each other? That's cannibalism. If you're probably like, so what? Animals do it all the time. Now remember, these creatures have a lot more emotional and cognitive knowledge than other animals. On top of that, chimps don't eat meat as part of their diets. Actually, they don't even kill their enemies quickly. When they fight, they make sure to hold the other down and beat them and bite them over a long period of time. They can easily kill each other in a more efficient way, but they want it to be slow and painful. What even goes through their head? It could be a show of masculinity. That's a toxic display of it. And that's not all. Unfortunately, they also catch red colobus babies and crack open thief recells like walnut to get the meaty brain part. We just got shivers down our spine. It's because these sadistic evil chimps that the population of the red colobus monkey is declining. Martins. Martins might look like innocent creatures, but the truth is that their appearance is very deceiving. These animals are diurnal hunters, which means they're ready to fight anyone day or night. Other than that, since they usually hunt in pairs or packs of three, it's very easy for them to take down their prey. They can easily prey on rats, mice, hares, snakes, lizards, any eggs, or ground-nesting birds. But the list doesn't end there. They've even been reported to kill cats and poultry too. It has no natural predators since big cats like tigers and leopards try to avoid this highlighter-looking creature. One of the most shocking prey that they have are primates, monkeys especially. The vicious martins are almost like Swiper from Dora the Explorer. Their very shy and very clever qualities have made it possible for them to maneuver around the tiny crevices of trees and even hunt down eagles. But we're focusing on primates here. Most people think that monkeys are too smart to fool, right? These martins don't care. They're fearless, and much of it comes from their innate habit of hunting anything they can find. The advantage in this clip goes to the martin since the monkey was injured and couldn't climb up the tree to escape. Even though they're both roughly the same size, the monkey couldn't keep up with its perfectly timed throws and ended up suffering sad, sad fate. All right, comment down below if you know any deep dark secrets about animals. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and we'll see you in the next one.